Hi, my name is Sigal and today I will demonstrate you the Uvenir system, how it works with all the steps. And this is a case of uh, two central incisors with staining and old composite and fluorosis. And as you can see, her teeth are quite good. The shape is nice, but we will need to mask that. Uh, and that's what we're gonna do today. Um, all right, so first I will, because I need to mask those colors, I will have to grind the teeth a bit. And then I will use a composite that has a masking ability. So something more opaque with translucency on top. With Uvenil system, we usually use one layer composite with some flowable composite on top. And I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so first I'm gonna put the retractors. Can you close your mouth, please? Okay, so first we'll prepare the teeth. After I minimally prep the teeth, I will put my separators. The separators can be anything you usually uh, use at your practice. I like to cut my uh, cellulose at my, uh, my matrices, my metal matrices. And then we have to pull them backwards, not to protrude on the labial surface. It's very tight teeth. That's good. So this is how we put one. You can use cellulose uh, strips, you can use uh, plumber tapes, anything that... Give, give me the one without this. So we put one separator and then we took the other one. So as you can see, I put three separators to separate the teeth and minimally prep the teeth. Now we're gonna edge the tooth. And we're gonna work one tooth as a, at a time. I'll leave it for 10 seconds. And then I put my bond. So we apply the bond, we rub it a little bit, and then we succeed. And we light cure for 20 seconds. And then we apply the composite. In this case, I will use Amaris uh, 01. I like, the, how opa opa I like the opacity of the Amaris. Uh, it's, quite very, it's a very good masking ability and it also has a nice fluorescence. And I just apply it freehand on the tooth. And then I choose the right composite, the, the right template of the Uvenir, which in this case was the large one. I'm going to put a little bit flowable composite in the middle, as you can see, just a dot, not too much. We don't want to overflow. So this is how much I put, very little bit. And then I combine it with the uncure composite on the tooth and I press. There is a midline line here that I need it to be in the middle of the tooth, parallel to the long axis of the face and perpendicular to the incisional uh, line. In this case, I will inject a little bit more flow here to fill up the tray. And then I'm cleaning around it with a probe. Press a little bit more and then we cure. We cure for 30 seconds. And then we remove the template. See how easy it comes out? 
and this is what we get. Now we go around it and we clean the excess. We do not touch the buckle surface because it's very shiny. So now we're going to do the second tooth. We etch. We apply the composite again freehand, evenly around the tooth and we all do it in one layer so I don't build up any other layers and the reason is that the U veneer is a concave template and it will give you a different thicknesses and the different thicknesses will give you the different effects. Sometimes I use my fingers as well to break the bubbles and again I'm going to put some flowable composite in the middle of the tray just a dot and we press again we clean around and then we cure this will be good you see how shiny it looks without polishing it and it's all done in, in a matter of minutes Then I'll take the saw and I'll open the contact point again.